handout 31, I had a question coming out of section 9.4, number 61. And here we had a pendulum that was swinging. And it went three feet on its first swing. And then on each successive swing, it only went three-fourths of the distance of the previous swing. So imagine the first time you swing, it's three feet. And then the next time you swing, it's three-fourths of that. And then the next time you swing, it's three-fourths of that, right? And when I keep saying of that, you can start to see, right, this is the that, right? There we go, three-fourths of the previous swing, right? And then the next one would be, well, this was the previous swing, right? And then I need to go three-fourths of that, right? If I start to kind of color code this, right? If this was the previous swing, I need three-fourths of it. And that's where that three-fourths is coming from. And you can almost start to feel out the geometric series, right? Because this would be three times three-fourths to the n minus one, right? If we start here at n equaling one, first swing, second swing, third swing, fourth swing. And if I want to think about the total distance that it's going, all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that infinitely, right? I mean, technically, if you're thinking about that pendulum, it would eventually stop, but we want to see how far it traveled in total. Well, if I have a geometric series, I can use that formula for the, or at least, let me say, oops, excuse me, if I have an infinite geometric series, we do A1 over 1 minus R. We already established that, and let me color code this, we already established that A sub 1 was 3, right? And then we see the base of our power is 3 4 so I'm going to plug that in for R, and that's what you see me doing here. And when I plug that in, I get that I, my, my pendulum swing 12 feet. And just one other quick note here, if our R value is 3 4 which it is, all right, that's good because its absolute value is less than, not less than 3 4 its absolute value is less than 1, so it would converge, and I can use that formula. All right, thanks so much, everyone. Bye.